Graham to see Anthony Joshua absolutely dismantle Dennis Baktov. After the first round, he looked like he'd been in a, a bloodbath. What did you make of it? Well, I mean, he's everything we said he was, and you know, we aren't, let's not get carried away, but this is a special talent, you know, and I mean, that guy hasn't been stopped for nine years other than on cuts. After round one, he looked as if he'd been run over twice by the same bus. This is a very special talent, and I think the fans here are the lucky ones because they can tell their grandchildren they were here when Anthony Joshua won his first title. There's going to be a lot more to come. Absolutely. Michael Sprott now on November the 22nd, and then next year, potentially, I mean, David Price is sitting there in the crowd as well. We're not working the sky, rather. It could be some big fights for Anthony next year. I don't think the word could is. I think if he carries on like this, next year is defining year of his career. By the end of that year, he'll be in a position to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. In 2016, he'll be in a position to unify the heavyweight championship of the world. So this guy's got a huge future. He's such a, you know, a public friendly boy. He's very humble outside the ring, but you see his face when he was finishing the job. He was enjoying himself. That's a dangerous animal. This is a weapon of mass destruction. All right, well, Barry Earn, the Anthony Joshua story continues uh, on to November the 22nd in Liverpool. Can't and, uh, wait. Can't wait, absolutely. Thank you very much.